Good morning. It's uh, August, the end, towards the end of August, uh, 2014, and it's uh, typical Northern Ireland weather. It's uh, cold and it's overcast. And I've come down to Newton Arts uh, Town Square uh, just to uh, take a few uh, minutes film of uh, this statue here. Uh, many people walk past this statue and never give it a second glance, but this statue is dedicated to the memory of uh, Colonel Paddy. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel uh, Blair Paddy May in 1915 through to 1955 when he met his death in a car accident uh, not very far from this spot and here is a life-sized uh, picture or not picture sculptor of uh, Colonel Paddy uh, holding a book he, he loved writing but he was a he was ferocious in battle um, this man was uh, one of the most decorated uh, soldiers in the Second World War, uh, decorated uh, four uh, Distinguished Service Medals, uh, Cross de Guerre, uh, blah blah blah, so many, so many uh, accolades, but the one uh, accolade that was, um, uh, that eluded him was uh, of course the VC. Um, and uh, reasons why he didn't get the VC, he was uh, a founding member of um, the uh, SAS along with uh, David Sterling. The reason why he didn't get the VC uh, remains uh, a mystery because this guy, Blur Main, Colonel Paddy, uh, probably uh, could have won the VC uh, four or five times over uh, for uh, valour, bravery, uh, uh, adventure, spirit, uh, creativity in, in, the, in the battlefront, uh, ingenuity, uh, just taking the bull by the horns, so to speak. Um, uh, he was just, he was just an amazing character, uh, and even before he came. Uh, into the war scene, he was uh, decorated on the rugby pitch. He was uh, an Irish player. Um, he played for Ulster. He played for uh, the the, the, uh, the British Lions, uh, and he travelled around the world in his rugby career. Um, he, he is uh, obviously most known for his exploits on the battlefield. Uh, there are many, many stories about Blair Main. Uh, one story uh, tells uh, um, how he uh, took out on his own uh, 17 Italian uh, planes on, on, a, on an Italian airfield and uh, uh, presumably he took out their guards as well single-handedly. Uh, this man was just a, a, an unbelievable character and uh, this little statue here at Newton Arts is, is dedicated to his memory. Um, one of uh, the uh, top fighting men in, uh, that ever served in the British Army and just uh, sad that he didn't along with so many other um, SAS men, even in his own troop, he didn't uh, warrant uh, receiving the VC from the, uh, the brass hats in the British Army establishment. And I'm up here um, at the end of August 2014, I'm up here uh, in uh, Mavilla uh, Cemetery just outside Newton Arts. It's up on the hill here and it's a vast cemetery and you look around the graves and the inscriptions on the graves and you say to yourself you know I wonder what these people's lives were like and uh, I've come up here in particular to uh, to view uh, this headstone here, it's um, 
it's erected to uh, the main family and uh, it's been here for some considerable time and uh, I'm just looking down at the, the uh, final inscriptions down at the bottom here. It says um, William and Francis O'Neill Mayan who died uh, 7, 9th of September 1943. Also his son, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Blair Mayan, DSO, three bars, Legion Donner, uh, Cross de Guerre, died 14th of December 1955. And then below that, uh, also Margaret Mayan, wife of the above William Mayan died in uh, February 1958 and it says in heaven is rest and endless peace and um, some folks who obviously knew uh, Paddy Main uh, it's uh, always remembered Jane and Marty now I don't know who Jane and Marty were, but it's a nice little remembrance there. So this is the headstone uh, to the uh, remembrance of um, all those members in the uh, main family, and this is the grave of uh, Colonel Lieutenant Colonel Paddy Main, uh, whose exploits are known right around the world, uh, his Second World War exploits of daring and bravery are known uh, right around the world. An unbelievable uh, character, um, died at the age of 40 in a car crash outside Newton Ards, lived just on the dual carriageway um, at, at Mount Pleasant uh, outside Newton Ards. Uh, unfortunately, um, Newton Ards uh, Council didn't see fit to um, make a wee museum uh, out of his family home uh, whenever um, uh, that house came on the market and it, was, it has unfortunately been bulldozed and new housing built upon it. Uh, sad. Um, the only real remembrances of uh, Blair Main and Newton Ards are uh, certainly this grave um, inscription and the uh, statue down in the town square and then uh, one of the um, one of the roads out of Newton Ards is called Blair Main uh, Road. So here we have it, uh, the last uh, remaining resting place of uh, Blair Main, World War II SAS uh, founding member and uh, uh, almost boy's own uh, hero. Uh, may, may he rest in peace along with the other members of his family.